All right, Aquarius, this is for you. Let's take a look at the eclipse energy and what you can expect. Um, I'm going to give you a little tool in the extended to um, help you understand uh, what was going on the last time we had Aries and Libra eclipses and how you can kind of use that to understand what's going on with you now or what may occur. All right, so that'll be in the extended. Let's see where we want to go with the reading. Aquarius, what is going on for you? Feel free to swap around the energies. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher. Divine masculine here. Is that? Yes, that's a relief. Okay. Psychic energy. Boundaries. Woo! I knew this one was coming. Jealousy. So, um... Some of you are dealing with a divine masculine who is in another relationship or something like that. And um, they're taking, uh, they're thinking about getting out of it or they're trying to figure out what they need to do to give themselves some relief. Uh, I feel like some of you uh, Aquarians may also be in a situation where your divine masculine has been suppressed. So you're letting other people kind of get the best of you or letting them, um, giving them too much. You're giving them too much psychic and boundaries. You're like giving somebody too much energy, too much juice from you. And you're going to need to um, shore up that those boundaries. Your divine masculine, it's like leaking out all over the place. Okay. It's leaking out. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even look like? Uh, I just feel like that means like you're you're putting in action into a lot of different directions and that's like um, scattering your energy in some way. Okay, so let's see. Uh, this deck is going to have some reversals in it. Okay, I don't usually pull reversals, but um, I picked this deck up and I noticed that there might be some reversals. So we'll see where we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Queen of Cups underneath in reverse, Six of Cups underneath in reverse. Now, the Lovers and the Chariot, that's kind of nice. The Eight of Pentacles, this Knight of Swords in reverse. So um, I feel like, Aquarius, you may have a love uh, object, <laughs> a lover, a person who's coming toward you. They could be a Gemini or a Cancer. And... Um, at the very least, you're making some kind of decision. Now, with this Queen of Cups in the reverse position and the Six of Cups in reverse position, I feel like, A, this has taken a long time, okay, because the Knight of Swords is very fast-moving energy. I feel like this has taken a long time to get to the place where the decision is being made. I feel like some of you have kind of put yourself on a shelf waiting for another person to make a decision about you or about coming toward you. Um, Let's see what the reading shows. Four of, or sorry, Page of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, the Judgment card. I feel like you're dealing with somebody, or this could be you, who solely focuses on creature comforts. What's going to be comfortable? Like not wanting to, not wanting to say some things or rock the boat or something like that. And I feel like that's hurting you in the long run. I think it's best to be honest as you go so that, you know, incrementally honest so that you don't get to like uh, 10 years later and all of a sudden you're like, yeah, no, this has never been good for me. And it's like, why didn't you say anything all along? There's something about that, something about afraid to get outside of your comfort zone and speak some kind of truth. The five of cups, the world and the magician Look at that. There's the four of wands. Remember I said the four of wands a little bit ago? The ten of swords in reverse. And the six of pentacles in reverse. So some of you are um, making a new direction in your life, going in a new direction, leaving behind other situations or leaving behind some kind of um, obstacle. Leaving behind some kind of obstacle. Now, this jealousy card is pretty loud. And Aquarius, I feel like you might have someone coming toward you um, to be with you. And there's another person who's jealous about that. Okay. There's another person. 
um, could be a water sign who's jealous. Water sign, earth sign, or something like that. Talk to me about this person. Page of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. The Six of Swords. Okay. And, okay, the Strength card and the Eight of Wands. I like that a lot. Uh, I feel like you're having a lot of conversations with somebody, could be a Sag or a Leo, I see Gemini, I see Cancer, about coming toward you, but there's no real timeline, okay? There's no real timeline for this Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So this person may also be losing some things by going, by moving, coming toward you, like leaving some things behind. The jealousy is um, a Queen of Pentacles, a queen of pentacles who wants to be comfortable all the time. I keep getting this comfort thing. They don't want to rock the boat. They don't want to do anything that's going to change. But that's like kind of the point. They're in stagnation. And the five of cups, talk to me, just one card for the five of cups. Okay. Um, high priestess in reverse. So it's almost like I feel like some of you are blocking your intuition that this person is even coming toward you. I feel like some of you think this is never going to happen. Okay. This is never going to happen. Um, this is the person I want to be with. Uh, maybe this is somebody from, you know, uh, a long time ago, your intuition is being blocked. I do think this is happening. I do think you're manifesting on this new level and the four of wands here. So there's an opportunity the world card is about um, getting some kind of closure on the past. The magician is about is about manifesting. That's Mercury. Um, starting April 1st, we do have Mercury in retrograde, FYI. Um, but I feel like this Ten of Swords, it's like not quite over yet. There's something not quite finished. And there's also something that's not balanced. Even though this person comes toward you, all right, this person comes toward you lovers and the chariot, they're not finished with the old situation yet, or you're not finished with the old situation yet. If you have this person coming toward you, I really feel like you're blocking your intuition about the fact that they are coming toward you. And you're just so used to being disappointed, so used to being disappointed. And I'm going to say to you that you are really manifesting a new beginning. There's definitely that, that, um, hitch and the giddy up about the intuition being blocked. I feel like that is kind of responsible for some of the delays in the changing of this. There's some, um, I don't believe it's going to happen. So that delays the time period of when it actually does happen. Now the, the jealousy card up here, temperance in reverse, knight of pentacles in reverse, Three of Pentacles in reverse. There's a lot of stuff on hold here. Emperor, Divine Masculine, going back to that, okay? So um, there's something about the Divine Masculine energy that is blocking movement forward. I keep getting this sense of, of um, controlling energy. It doesn't have to be a masculine uh, a divine masculine person that, you know, presents as a male. It can be someone who's very controlling is really blocking the progress of this moving forward because of their jealousy. They have some, they have a lot of jealousy to them and they're blocking the forward movement energetically of you moving toward that, which you want to create in your life. And it's like, it ain't over. It ain't over. This is not happening. This is not happening. The Ten of Swords in reverse and the Six of Pentacles in reverse, right? This is not, this is um, sort of up in the air. Ten of Wands, Ace of Cups in reverse, Seven of Pentacles and the Empress. There's a the Divine Feminine. So the new offer is not being made yet. Not quite yet. Um, I feel like what needs to be balanced is whoever in this situation, this could be you Aquarius, or this could be a person who's around you, who's jealous, or this could actually be uh, the, the place you're going or the next experience that you're going toward, maybe a new love, maybe a new career path. 
I just feel like it's not quite there yet because of that person standing in the way. Jealous about what will happen if you fully open up to who you are, if you fully embrace your intuition. Jealous, like it's almost like they're trying to keep you in a situation, keep you small. They're trying to keep you small, okay? And I do feel like there's another person on the other side trying to tug you through that um, that uh, tunnel, okay? It could be your divine feminine trying to pull you through that tunnel and saying, hey, that other person's trying to keep you small. All right, so energetically that can be happening. So the manifestation, three of cups in reverse, ace of swords, hanged man, two of pentacles. Okay. Um, so this is about really stepping into your truth, your authentic reality, being who you really are. If someone's trying to keep you small, that's a false identity that you have been um, experiencing with them. This is how they like, this is, you know, sort of what gets them excited about you. They like seeing you in a certain way. They think this is who you are, your identity. But actually, I feel like you're growing into a new identity, completely new. And it's something that is going to be very expansive, very... Um, uh, I don't know, big on the world stage, or, you know, some of you are stepping into um, this twin flame energy, which is going to elevate you. Some of you are just stepping into your truth. No matter what, Aquarius is getting elevated by this. There are people who are trying to hold you back, for sure. Okay, so I'll talk a little bit more about the energy of the eclipses in the extended I'll take a look at what you don't see coming and what an, any kind of blocks you might have to deal with. All right, Aquarius. So the link is below if you want to continue on. I will see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.